So the world's first 360 camera drone is here, the Anti-Gravity A1. And what I wanna to talk to you about today is this grip motion controller. I'm gonna go through all the controls, all of the buttons, everything that this controller can do. But when I got done flying it today, my visual observer here was asking me, you know, why didn't they give us a regular standard controller? Why is it just this controller? And I said, you know what? That's a great question. A lot of people are complaining about that because most people are used to flying with a standard controller like this one, right? Or like the FPV controller, that would make sense. But I think the reason that they went with this one is because the purpose of this drone is to kind of sell the experience, the immersion and the feeling of flying. And this kind of simulates flying, right? Like having a controller that kind of stimulates a control stick. But also, this is pure speculation, I really do think that they're gonna offer a standard controller in the future. I think they wanted to put this out there because it makes sense. It goes with the feeling of flying. Uh, I just think it belongs like this. But I also think the demand is going to be so high, and I think they anticipated that, that they're going to offer this, and it's just going to be a new thing to sell this drone, right? It's going to be like, hey, guess what? Now we offer the standard controller. But um, honestly, I don't miss having a standard controller. I actually really enjoy flying this drone being able to maneuver it with one hand and then be able to look around with the goggles and all of that. So yes, a standard controller would be nice uh, just because that's what we're used to, but I also think this is a really fun way to fly. So so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take you through the controller. I'm gonna show you all the buttons, all the controls, just to make sure that if you decide to get this drone, you know exactly what all of these little buttons do here. Now let's get into the grip motion controller. So this green light flashing right here, so this is your battery indicator, but it also gives you a lot of information about the drone. So right now it's flashing green and that means that it's searching for its drone to connect to. So I don't have the drone turned on right now. So obviously it's gonna to continue to search for a connection. When you get the anti-gravity and you open up the bundle and you get everything charged up, everything is already linked. And so that's really nice. You don't have to pair your controller with your goggles, with the drone with the goggles and go through that whole process. Everything is already done for you. But if you ever lose that link, if something ever happens where you can't connect the controller to your drone or whatever, all you have to do is hold down the power button and then it will start uh, blinking. What it's gonna do, it's gonna do a loop playback. So each of these little green bars is just gonna go one, two, three, four. And that means that it's trying to link with, uh, with your drone. And then you just hold down the power button on your drone and then they'll get back up linked together. So. Uh, but this indicator light, basically if it's got four bars, it means that you have at least 70% battery. If it has three bars, it means you have uh, almost nearly 50, over 50% battery, excuse me. Two green bars is over 20%. And then when you get down to yellow bar, it means that you have less than 19%. And then a red bar means you have less than 10% battery on the controller. So uh, if it's red, if these bars turn all red, it could be a lot of different things. It could be an IMU error, compass error, could be your overheating. Like sometimes if you're flying in extreme heat and you've been flying through a lot of batteries, your grip motion controller might overheat. Then those lights are gonna turn red. Also, if you lose signal or there's a voltage error or if there's a critical low battery on your drone, these are gonna turn red. So anytime you see red on the controller, there is an issue with your drone. So just know that. Also, there is yellow. So if it starts to turn yellow, that's going to let you know that, hey, we have a weak video transmission signal. So, you know, also a weak GPS signal, uh, a low battery warning, and then low storage warning. So if you're starting to get low on storage uh, on the internal storage on the drone, this is going to let you know by turning yellow. On the right hand side, of course, I already showed you is the power button. And all you do is tap it once and then hold it down for three seconds and then it turns on. This is your menu button. And if you tap it once, that's gonna bring up your menu display, okay, in your goggles. If you hold down on it, that's gonna bring up your quick menu. And basically you have a circle in the middle of your screen and you can customize the different options that are on that quick menu. And then you just, you know, maneuver the controller to pick whichever one, whichever setting that you wanna change, okay? On the left-hand side of the controller, we'll have two customizable buttons. There's a C1 button and a C2 button. Okay, so you can set these to do different things. Uh, I believe that standard default for the C1 is when you press it, that will uh, lower down the uh, landing gear. And the C2, I believe the default is to turn on the auxiliary light on the bottom of the drone. 
Right here is your uh, flight control settings. So you have cinematic mode, normal mode, and sport mode. And so you can just switch those into whichever mode that you want to fly. On the front of the controller over here, this is called your slider. And so there's a number of things that the slider does. Uh, right now, the motors are locked because the, the drone is not on. But if you turn the drone on, the motors are still going to be locked until you double tap on the slider. That will unlock the motors and turn the drone on. To launch the drone, you hold up on the slider for three seconds, I believe. And then it's going to raise up and hover at about just over one meter. Okay. Uh, right next to that is your record button. So this is how you record video. Next to the record button is the shutter button. So that's how you take a photo. Above that, you see this wheel here. This is your 360 wheel. When the drone is on the ground and you turn this wheel, that changes the camera view. Okay, so, you know, the 360 drone allows you to see in any direction. So you can change your view by turning this dial. While the drone is flying, you know, up in the air and you turn this dial, that changes the yaw of the drone. So if you turn the dial left, the drone is going to turn left. So it changes the heading of your drone depending on how you dial this in. Okay, and then finally on the 360 dial, if you tap the tap down on it, what that does is that puts your goggle view and your drone view in sync. Okay, so sometimes you might be looking in one direction and flying in another direction. And so to bring those two together, if you just tap in the middle, the drone will reposition itself so it's positioned, it's heading is in the same direction that you are looking with the goggles. Okay, that comes in really handy. I'll tell you that right now. Right over here is your emergency stop button and your return to home button. So you hit it once for emergency stop. Let's say you're running a waypoint mission and you want to stop. All of a sudden you just tap on that and it'll stop and hold it down and the drone will return to home. Okay, so that's what that button's for. And then this is your accelerator trigger. So the further you pull on the trigger, the faster the drone is going to go. And then as you move the, the controller, okay, depending on which direction you're moving it, that's the direction that the drone is going to fly if you have the accelerator down, okay, if you're pulling on the trigger. If you're moving the controller without uh, pulling on the trigger, basically all it's going to do is yaw the drone, okay, in that direction that you're turning. But it's not going to move until you pull on that trigger, all right? So that is your grip motion controller. It does have a USB-C port on the bottom for charging. If you have any questions on the controller, just let me know in the comments and, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. If you want to learn more about the anti-gravity, if you want to see more tutorials, you want to see my first flight experience, unboxing, everything like that, I do have a playlist down below. So check out that playlist and you can watch everything that I've done with the anti-gravity so far. And I will tell you this, it is a completely new experience and this drone has brought back a lot of joy for me when it comes to flying drones. Like I've been flying drones for eight years now. And when I first started flying, it was a blast. I had a rush every time I flew. And then when I got into it more, you kind of get numb to things, you know, you get kind of just, oh, this is the same old thing. And it's not that I didn't enjoy it. It just wasn't that same rush. The anti-gravity has given me back that, that just experience. Like I don't know what other word to use, but it truly is really fun to fly this drone just because it's something that's so brand new so but thanks for watching the video today guys hit that thumbs up if i was able to give you any information of value appreciate you watching the entire video have a great day and as always fly safe and fly smart